Hello, I am Mr. Rogers. And I'm Mrs. Froman. And you are watching the video notes. This is a, a new chapter, uh, section 2-1. It is on, as you can see, photosynthesis. So in this chapter, guys, we were talking about now still with cells, but now more some of these big jobs that cells do. And this first job that some cells do is photosynthesis. So this is food from the sun. And photosynthesis. Um, allows us, it comes from the sun. The sun provides al almost all the energy used by living things on earth. And photosynthesis, simply put, is a process where cells use energy from the sun to make food, to make sugars, um, simple sugars, using carbon dioxide and water. So, Mr. Rogers, what do you mean it makes almost all the energies used from the sun? Well, we figure you know, almost every ecosystem is based around the sun. The energy from, comes from the sun powers uh, photosynthesis in plants or algae or things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But there's a small amount um, that comes from deep, deep, deep in the ocean at volcanic vents. Uh -huh. um, they don't carry out photosynthesis, they carry out chemosynthesis, where they actually use chemicals from the volcano uh, to make food. So there okay. are some ecosystems deep in the ocean that um, don't use the sun, but the majority we talk about are from the sun. All right. So the first step in photosynthesis is the chlorophyll that's found in the leaves in the chloroplast absorbs the light from the sun. And I don't have these, right? I don't have chlorophyll? No, you'd be green if you did. Okay, no. so only plant cells have yes. these, chlor these chlorophyll. Yep. And these chlorophyll um, are deep inside the plant and need some major, those organic compounds, actually CO2 is inorganic, but need some compounds for photosynthesis to take place. And one is CO2 carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide enters a leaf through the stomata or stoma for singular there. These are small openings on the underside of leaves. You can see them here. They kind of look like tiny eyes. I always mm -hmm. think of the eye of Sauron like from uh, Lord yeah. of the Rings has a kind of look to it. Mm -hmm. um, and there's some drawings down here of when they're open. So when they're open, gases can come in and when they're closed, Gases cannot come in and out. So yeah. they're tiny like openings. Like they're a little door. Almost like a little door. Yeah, they're microscopic, and we'll see these in class here um, in the future. Then water and carbon dioxide move into the chloroplast, where a chemical reaction takes place, powered by the energy from the sun that the chlorophyll captured. So I need water. I need CO2. Are those yeah. my basic ingredients I need? Yep. Yeah. Hmm. All right, guys, so then what happens next? From that, that process, a chemical process, O2 and glucose are produced. And glucose, that's a big molecule there, but that's what it is. It's C6H12O6, so six carbon, 12 hydrogen, and six oxygen atoms. That's one kind of those basic sugar molecules. Um, the stuff you guys like, like the fructose and the sucrose, there's going to be some version of this. There may be a few more um, hydrogens or oxygens, but it's a, it looks a lot like this molecule here. And then plants release the O2 through the stomata. It's actually the plant doesn't really need it. It lets it go. It's just like a, it's like a waste product. This gets rid of it. And then plants use the sugars to carry out their functions they need to carry on life, or some can be stored for later. So that oxygen, oxygen that they release, is that the same oxygen that we're breathing in? It's the same, same stuff, stuff, yeah. It's, it's kind of weird huh. to think about. It's, it's their a waste. waste product for yeah. the plants. But, but we need it. We could yeah, not we survive couldn't. without it. Yeah. Huh. Wow. Ooh, look at that. That looks complicated. That's a photosynthesis equation. And when we read chemical equations, the numbers in the front, yeah, that's six there, right in front of that CO2 and the H2O, that means how many molecules. So that means I need six carbon dioxide molecules and six water molecules. And then in the middle there, we got that light. That's the light from the sun. And then that's going to produce one glucose molecule because there's not a number in front of that. So it's just one molecule. And then six oxygen molecules. And so what are these numbers down below? What are these down here? What does that mean? Well, when, I, when you start out, we start out with six carbons. And the six and the O2 right there, you have to multiply those. So that's 12. And then I have six oxygens over there in the water. So add those together, I have 18 oxygens. Oh, okay. And then six times two hydrogens, you got 12 hydrogens. So I start out with six carbons, 18 oxygens, and 12 hydrogens. In the chloroplast, those 
the carbon dioxide and water gets broken apart into tiny little pieces and put back together into that one glucose molecule, which has six carbons, 12 of my hydrogens, and six of my oxygens, and then the other 12, the six times six two. Times two. Six times two. Six times two, those 12 hydrogens. So that's, I still end up, or it's 12 oxygens. Sorry. Oh, sorry, oxygen, yeah, yeah. oxygen. Yep. So I still end up with six carbons, 18 oxygens, and 12 hydrogens. They're just reconfigured into different okay. molecules. So same atoms, just reshuffled, I guess we yep. could say. And on this last slide here, guys, you know, we talk about um, in ecosystems, there's different roles, and some organisms are autotrophs. Auto means it can you know, by itself, so it can make its own food. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have heterotrophs, and they cannot make their own food. So you know, we are heterotrophs. We cannot make our own food. We have to eat food, either eating plants or eating other animals. Um, we get our energy that way. So autotroph makes its own food. Heterotrophs do not. All right, seventh grade, uh, we're going to stop there. We thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys along the way. Bye.